Today's Tips to Your Mailbag question comes to us from Tennessee. Robert, recently I saw a video you did about a water-based finish. The results were very nice. My question, though, is about how easy it is to repair or touch up this type of finish. Thanks for all your videos, Jeff in Tennessee. Well, Jeff, you're referring to the video I did uh, several months ago, actually, about uh, Bright Tone. It's a high solids water-based finish made by Crystalac, and I got it through LMI. Now, here are the sample boards that I worked on. Like I said, it's been several months, and these things have just been laying around the shop collecting dust, bouncing around from bench to bench, and they still look really nice. I did one in Rosewood, and I did one in Spruce. However, your question is very valid. How easy is it to repair or touch up this finish? Let's find out. I'm going to go over to the sanding station. We're going to sand through the finish all the way to the bare wood. And then we're going to come back and touch it up, build some layers, and see how it reacts. Let's go. So here's my sample board. It's so nice looking. The board's going to be ashamed to damage it, but that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to take my sander. I've got 220 grit paper on it. We're just going to scuff it up right here in the middle. Jeff, I think you'll agree we've done quite a bit of damage to this sample board. Since I've gone all the way through to bare wood, I'm going to start by just putting on a little bit of sanding sealer. Just like I did in the original video, I'm going to do it with a foam brush rather than spray it. Now remember, you always want to work in very, very thin layers if possible. It's a little harder to do with a foam brush. But that's what I'm going to do is just wipe on a little bit here just to seal that wood where I sanded through it. And then we'll come back and do top coats. I'm going to be using the Bright Tone High Solids Top Coat just like I did on the original sample board. So I'm going to give this about an hour or two just to set up here a little bit. And then I'll come in and start brushing on my top coats. I'll probably have to do about uh, two or three coats a day over the course of two or three days. And then go into cure time. So as you saw, I put on several coats of the Bright Tone Sealer, then I went over the top with some uh, build coats of their top coat, their high gloss top coat, and I built that up quite a bit until everything was level again, because remember, I did sand through to the wood. And then I let it sit for a number of days. I then started wet sanding, and then I buffed it out finally on my buffing wheel. And there it is. I've got it nice and shiny again. However, there are witness lines where I stopped my brush strokes. Also, as I was doing my top coats, I sanded through some of those layers. Didn't get all the way through the wood, but you can see that there are witness lines or shadow lines there. So the answer to the question is, can you do spot repairs or touch-ups with this product? The answer is no. I would treat it like any other finish that builds in layers. It is not a evaporative finish. It is reactive finish. So if you want to do a touch-up with this type of finish, scuff sand the whole area, recoat the whole area. Hope this helps. Happy finishing.